Hey guys, just spent my first night in the Amok Drummer XL. It's amazing. It's everything I hoped it would be. Uh, I'm a tall guy, and this is the first time that I've gone hammock camping and actually slept mostly through the whole night. Uh, completely flat lay. Um, it was amazing. Uh, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail, do a whole review and all that, because others have done it and will be doing it. People that know a lot more uh, about this than me and people that can do videos better than me. Uh, but a few things that I want to share that, that I found, um, some little tweaks, and it's going to take some getting used to. It definitely took me a while to uh, adjust things and, and figure things out and um, a lot of practice getting in and out. That's that's the main thing. You know, it's such a unique hammock and it's it's there's a whole different way of getting in and out of it. Hey, it's a few days later and I'm out at a local park. I just brought this out again to set it up because uh, I thought of a few more things and I thought I'd be able to show you a little more clearly now that I've had a chance to gather my thoughts. Uh, the first thing is, you're probably gonna notice that you wanna hang this thing higher than you normally do. Uh, I'm a little off there right now, I got some adjusting to do, but you will find that you're gonna hang this higher than you did with your normal hammock, at least I do. I'm six foot three, I used to go about head height. Now I reached up almost as far as I can. Pad is awesome, I absolutely love it, but one thing I'm going to say about it is don't inflate it all the way. You know, one of the great features about this hammock is the chair mode, the recline mode, and I just found that it works a whole lot better if you just leave a little give in that pad. If you really love a, a firm pad to sleep on like I do, uh, you could always blow it up all the way, and then uh, in the morning when I use it for chair mode, it's real easy to let some air out and uh, just make it easier to get into that chair mode, into that recline mode. And I'll show you how to do that too, it's super simple. But if you want that versatility right off the bat, I don't fill the pad up all the way. Try to show you how to let out some air uh, with one hand here. You just pop the top off your pad, and there's a little black valve that you push. And that's it. You just let out a little bit of air, and you'll be able to adjust this thing a lot better. So this is something that's pretty easily overlooked when you're getting in this hammock for the first time, because you're excited to get in. Uh, you got your pad in. But you have to remember to take the foot box, this, the flap that holds the foot box, and make sure that that is over the pad. Uh, and I don't know if you picked that up, but it actually changes the angle of the hammock, and that's really important, as you'll see in a few minutes. And likewise, on the head end, you have to make sure that this flap is over the top of the pad. That's the one I missed, and I think that's one of the reasons I fell over the first time. So don't forget about the one at the head end. All right, this is probably the most important tip I have for getting in the Dremur XL. You know, if you watch the guys on YouTube, uh, the preview videos, you know, they get in there no problem. Uh, but you do have to make sure that your butt is directly under the ridge line when you get in. So you're going to fold this, fold the pad back and make sure that you're sitting directly under the ridge line. I even put a little bit of my weight towards the foot end and that'll prevent you from flipping over backwards. Now the fact that I have the pad all tucked in uh, underneath all the flaps helps too. Um, so now you're in here for the first time and if it still doesn't feel right, something just seems out of whack, check your straps. Because when you're in hammock mode or sleep mode, these should be all the way out. Um, when I got in mine, I figured out that mine were about halfway, and that kind of messed with the way the hammock was laying. I don't know, maybe they did that because it was easier to ship it that way. Um, but yeah, check these straps, make sure they're all the way out, and you will find yourself flat and comfortable. Uh, a few things about the integrated bug net that is awesome. I think you have to be in flat mode to attach it, if I remember correctly. I'm not going to test it now in chair mode, but I'm pretty sure you have to be flat to attach it. And then there is this piece of shock cord that comes out of the head end. I know Shug showed himself attaching it here, and then you could adjust it nicely back there uh, with your hands, which is a good option. There's actually a little toggle right there. But also another option you can do is you can put it up over the ridge line, and then it attaches down here at the foot end, right there. So now it goes all the way from the head end to the foot end and you can still adjust it from above your head. 
speaking of putting this bug net on, be really, really careful when you're zipping it down by your feet. Um, it's real easy to come sliding down and maybe even rip through the bug net. Uh, I don't know what I'm missing there. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but uh, I've noticed that I really have to watch myself when I'm zipping it down there. So here's a look with the bug net deployed. Um, I have the ridge line going from the head all the way to the foot end, and I am utilizing the stick pockets, which keeps the bug net up even higher. Kind of have a funky stick there, but you can see it lifts it up off your face even more. Now keep in mind, if I'm in there with my weight in there, you know, it's going to push the pad down a lot more and create even more separation. So I definitely recommend um, running this shock cord the whole length of the hammock. Of course, the downside is it's kind of in your way when you're getting in and out, but I don't think that's a big deal. So you can see if you do that, if you do the shock cord all the way to the foot end of the hammock, it really, really keeps that bug net far away from you and it just makes things a little more comfortable. So there you have it, guys. This is what I think you need to know uh, before you get in the Amic Drummer XL. Uh, I am by no means an expert on anything when it comes to camping, um, but just some things that I found that I thought might be helpful for you. So I'm going to go enjoy this thing. I hope you enjoy yours. Peace.